Hello everyone and welcome to Kingdom Hearts Birth by Sleep Final Mix. I'm Tanil. And I'm Sean. And today we get to jump into a brand new Kingdom Hearts game. Well, new for the channel. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, and uh, I gotta say, this is probably my personal favorite of the entire series. We'll get into why, I'm sure, as we play the game, but uh, it's a lot of fun. We got a whole new set of characters here, although some of them might look a little familiar. Mm -hmm. Mickey is not new. <laughs> no, no. And some people might be wondering, where does this take place? What, when does this take place? Mm -hmm. And I guess I'll let you know this game is a prequel game. Kingdom Hearts 1. Yes, so this game pl takes place 10 years before the events of Kingdom Hearts 1. So we're going to be learning about three young Keyblade wielders. Mm-hmm. Are we ready to get started? Yeah, I think uh, we're good to go ahead and jump in. What are we going to play on? I would say we should play on Proud Mode. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I would agree. Yes. Now this is Final Mix, so there is some extra stuff in here. Um, that wasn't in the original PSP version. Yes. This game was originally on the PSP. Yes, but we are playing on the PlayStation 4... Remaster. 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 Yep. And now we get our awesome cinematic intro. Mm -hmm. <laughs> there it is. Now, as you might be familiar, we obviously had to mute the song here. Yeah, yeah. Because it's the same song that they've used before. Mm-hmm. Um, but now we get new cutscene of characters we haven't seen before. Yeah. And one we have. Oh, I love them <laughs> so much! And uh, this is, as you might be able to tell, is the mixing parallels. quite a, Mixing quite a bit between uh, the secret movie from Kingdom Hearts 2 with new content. Mm-hmm. understand what I, I can't hear that. When I said no. Yeah, but still. Doesn't mean I can't sing along. <laughs> oh. <laughs> it's like, we don't know who these people are, but clearly things... Are falling apart. Things don't go well. Ugh. I live for these these cutscenes, like mm -hmm. these CGI cutscenes. They're so good. And then it wouldn't be one of these without them, like, falling, falling. into water. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, no! The stained glass window gets broken. And our Roxas-looking kid... Doesn't seem to be doing so hot. <gasps> Young Sora and Riku! <laughs> well, we recognize this place. Who's that? This world is 
is just too small. Yeah, ten years ago we still already had the those cloaks. Mm-hmm. But they're very handy cloaks. There you see an empty world like a prison. I imagine you will be right at home. A shirt on. What, you don't want to stare at his nubile young body? <laughs> <laughs> don't, don't even. <laughs> Dived into the heart. Oh, his eyes don't look good. Also, that is a bright stained glass window. Could you imagine? Mm -hmm. Stained glass window that's just. But I'm a brand new heart. But this is. The light brought me. I saw it shining in the distance. And followed it here. Yeah. That was my light. But my heart is fractured. Oh. Oh no. The little I have left is slipping away. Then you should join your heart with mine. have touched. Nothing else will slip away. Oh, one day, you'll be strong enough to win back the part that already did. Right. Thanks. It's time to wake up now. All we need to do is Open the door. That looks like a better stained glass. Mm hmm. Doesn't seem to be a lot going on in this one. Mm-hmm.
This seems familiar. <laughs> yep, another kid's bedroom. <laughs> In fact, it's this kid's. He has a shirt on this time. Thank goodness. <laughs> Oh, look how happy he is. This can't be Roxas. He's too happy. <laughs> what a cheerful little boy. For someone who we saw just dying in the last cutscene. Mm -hmm. Welcome everyone to the first world of this game. Land of Departure. A very, very new world to this game. Indeed. To this series. Indeed, this is the first time this world has ever been seen. What an extravagant castle. I love it. I can't see much from here. Yeah, yeah, no playing! Now we are playing! Woo! Plus the options button, we can see some of our basic information. All right, I'm gonna ask you because the camera controls seem correct to me, but if you're going to mess with them, I don't want to start off by learning the camera controls one way and then have you change them in the next episode. Um, yeah, these seem fine. All right. They actually seem fine. I uh, pulled out our character's keyblade, and as you can tell, it's a reverse keyblade. Well, not so much reverse as our character here is wielding it backhanded. Yeah. Which is really cool. I really like that touch. Mm -hmm. It's a nice difference between... Roxas and this guy. Should yeah. we actually point out who this is or wait until the game no, says? No, no, no. Okay. Just give it a second. And as you can see, we got a lot of weird things on our menus and stuff. We'll get to it. The game will tell us. I really like this jamming music. Yeah. Press X to attack. Ha! Ha! Hua! Got health orbs like normal. Mm -hmm. And earn prizes. Yellow gives you money. Your command deck contains special moves. Use the up or down or L2, R2 to select one. Then press triangle to use it once the gauge is filled. So. You want a piece of me too? Yeah, this game doesn't uh, work off of Boom. any uh, ideas from before. I like, mean, it does, but mm -hmm. but this opens up a new system, a new battle system of Kingdom Hearts. Of that's, command menus. That's a lot of fun, and we'll be exploring it a lot mm -hmm. from essentially this point onward. Yeah, actually. You can lock onto targets. With R1. Like normal. Win. Boom. Once you've locked on, you can switch targets using L1 or tap R1 to exit. And of course, we got treasure chests. Uh-huh. <laughs> These look more or less the same. By the way, I don't know if we pointed it out, but Tennille is in charge this episode. Yeah, I'm playing! Woohoo! Spinning jump! Gotcha. Oops. Oops. Right, not triangle. Yeah. X. Triangle isn't opening chests anymore, it's uh, X. Uh-huh. So no reaction commands. Nope, no reaction commands in this one. Because triangle is how you use all of your commands. Mm-hmm. You found the sliding dash command. Press options to open the main menu where you can install it on your command deck. Wait, what am I messing around here for? I'm gonna miss the meteor shower. <laughs> yeah! Get that's, over there! That's right, happy kid. You should install that. Oh yeah. And we can kind well, of look at our menu. Alright, now we see this character's name. Ventus! Ventus is the name of this kid that we're playing as, not Roxas. Yeah. They look 
the exact same, but don't worry about it. Don't, don't even worry. It's probably perfectly fine. Yeah, no, it, it, they just happen to look the same. It's totally cool. Ah, uh, we don't need yeah, all no, these tutorials. No. Go, go away, go away. I know. Okay, so you get battle commands, action commands, and shot lock commands. Shot locks are fun, we'll explain them later. But you get to choose what your triangle commands are going to be. You get to install whatever you want. And uh, everything levels up, and once it's maxed out the level, it's going to be the strongest it's going to be. And if there's an ability attached to it, you permanently get that ability once it's leveled up. So see, I took out Quick Blitz because it's got the crown and it's level 3, so that means it's max. And it had, next to that red dot, it had the ability Scan. So now, I have the ability Scan. Yeah, they give Scan to you immediately at the beginning of the game. Thank you! Uh-huh. Um, so yeah, these will just have their own experience bars from hitting and killing things uh, to make them level up as well. Yeah. And there's just a lot of menus. We'll stuff. check out that other is stuff Is there later. other, before you go, uh -huh. check over this direction. Make sure there's not like any other chests or anything. I don't think there is. No. Okay. All right, let's go. Run, 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 run. Why does this seem so familiar? I thought you wanted to watch the meteor shower. That seems familiar. <laughs> Give me a break, Aqua. <laughs> you hopeless sleepyhead. You know, you should have at least brought a blanket. But did I dream that place up? It really felt like I'd been there before, looking up at the stars. <laughs> Except you've always lived here with us. Yeah. I know. I mean... Sure. Hey, Aqua. Hmm? You ever wonder what stars are? Where light comes from? Hmm. Well, they say... That every star up there is another world. Huh? Oh. Terra. Yep. Hard to believe there are so many worlds out there besides our own. The light is their hearts. And it's shining down on us like a million lanterns. What? I don't get it. In other words, they're just like you, Ven. What does that mean? You'll find out someday, I'm sure. I want to know now. You're too young to know now. <laughs> Quit treating me like a kid. <laughs> hey, what are you laughing at? I can't help it. You two would make the weirdest brothers. <laughs> huh? Oh, what are you kidding? These two already banter like brothers. <laughs> so we've been introduced to our three main characters for this game. Ventus, Aqua, and Terra. Oh, yeah. Tara, you and I have our Mark of Mastery exams tomorrow. I made us good luck charms. Whoa. Here. I get one too? Of course. One for each of us. Yeah. Somewhere out there, there's this tree with star-shaped fruit. And the fruit represents an unbreakable connection. So as long as you and your friends carry good luck charm shaped like it, nothing can ever drive you apart. You will always find your way back to each other. Technically, I think you're supposed to make them with seashells, <laughs> but I did the best with what I had. I think yours look better. Yeah, yours look amazing! What do you mean, sometimes? 
So this isn't a real good luck charm? Well, that's yet to be seen. But I did work a little magic on it. Really? What? <laughs> An unbreakable connection. Wayfinder. One of three good luck charms Aqua made for herself and her friends the day before the Mark of Mastery exam. I love the design of these things. Oh. And I also love, like, the little... The, the way little it, one in the corner? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's got, like, all the colors in it. Mm -hmm. So cool. It's so cute. <laughs> so, with the ability of this, we have D-Link, or Dimensional Link, or Dimension Link. Mm -hmm. And we can borrow powers from our friends. And we'll get more into that... Later. Later. <laughs> Just know that they exist. Well, yep. Tomorrow's the exam. Anybody want to spar? I can take you. Ho ho! Let's go, big guy. Now we're playing as Terra. Let's go, little guy. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So we have an HP gauge representing the, your health, and it'll run out. If it runs out, you die. The yep. same as the other games. Uh, you can use square to defend yourself. Um, press it, press it while moving to do a slide, or press it while holding still to block. So I think it wants us to block. Oh! There you go. There we go. Finally got it. Alright. And of course, we also have the command gauge. Fills with your attacks hit and when you're... Blah, blah, blah. Command gauge fills when your attacks hit enemies. <laughs> if you go for a few seconds without landing attack, it will start to drain. I think this is better shown off than mm -hmm. explained. And we also get a finish command. So as you can see there, our gauge is filling as we beat on Ventus here. We, this 17 or 18 year old kid, beating the crap out of this 15 year old. Yeah. Because yes, Ventus is younger and we have the oldest playable characters yet. Mm -hmm. Terra and Aqua are both around 17, 18. I don't know if they give specific ages, but that's what you're led to believe they are. Yeah, I would say they've always felt more like 18 to me. Mm -hmm. but like, they're adults. They're yeah. definitely adults. Yeah. Using triangle commands instead of regular attacks fills the command gauge and may cause you to change command styles. This is really cool. Command we'll style. get into it yeah. more later. <laughs> yeah, command styles just add another gauge on top of it and you get really strong mm -hmm. and then you have a new kind of finisher in a way they're almost kind of like drive forms mm -hmm. but you need to know how to handle a crowd too and now we're playing as aqua yeah! use your shot lock command to hit lots of enemies at once hold down r1 and a big target circle will appear use the left stick to point the circle at one or more enemies and lock on multiple times while still holding R1, press X to use your shot lock, when, which hits enemies as many times as you've locked on. Pew, 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 pew. Shot lock is amazing. Don't forget it exists. It yeah. will save your butt. Uh huh. Especially on proud mode in the early areas. Yes. Okay, let's wrap this up. Choose a character for this fight. Terra, Ventus, or Aqua. Uh, let's go with Ventus. Okay. Since we've shown off the other two. Mm -hmm. Back to Ventus to show uh, each of the three different characters have their own strengths and weaknesses. Ventus mm -hmm. is the fast one. Uh, he's got a lot of like fast attacks. Terra is the strong one. <laughs> I think that's a perfect <laughs> demonstration of that. Mm -hmm. Ooh. Oh, careful. Okay. And Aqua is like the magic one. She gets more magic spells than the other two, and she just rocks with them. Yeah. <laughs> and there was his finish. Yes. He did multiple slashes at once. Yeah, all of them are going to have different abilities and skills from each other. They'll learn some of the same things, but uh, for the most part, they're going to be different characters. Mm -hmm. uh, no thanks. Trust me, you guys are ready. We're gonna clean up the exam tomorrow. I hope it's that easy. 
It's like the master said, power is born within the heart. When the time is right, you just need to look inside yourself and you'll find it there. Power is born within the heart. During your travels, you can find new strength by playing on the command board. In this game, you roll the dice and power over your commands as you make your way Don't along worry the board. About it. We'll explain that. Yeah, later. we'll get into all that later. <laughs> This game also comes with its own mini games. Mm -hmm. And of course, we can save our game. Saving the game. Saving the game. Done. Yes, please. All right. Hey, we're gonna head back. Yeah, me too. That's a lot of worlds. Mm hmm. Together. Always. That would be the last night we ever spent beneath the same stars. Oh. Well, that was nice while it lasted. <laughs> Mickey! Seems Mickey's learning too. Yep. I mean, training this is a under prequel. master, training under master Yen Sid. Mickey, I cannot shake the feeling something terrible is about to transpire. Hmm? Green, blue, orange. Green, blue, orange. <laughs> In this game, you choose one character at a time and complete his or her story from start to finish. Each character finishes, visits worlds or different places and meets different people. And only by finishing all three stories will you uncover this tale's deeper truths. That's so, right. This game has three different characters that you choose to play from all all the way through the game and they all all have their own stories they'll crisscross every now and again but for the most part these are separate paths that these characters go and they learn completely different things so we're essentially going to be playing this game three times normally 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 people are going to suggest that you do them in the order of terra ventus and then aqua you right. can really choose whatever you want. There's mm -hmm. even quite a few people who prefer to play it Ventus, Terra, and then Aqua. Aqua's is almost always last, though. Yeah. But we've decided we're going to play through this game a little different. Mm-hmm. Um, hopefully, it works out perfectly fine. And on your guys' end, you won't really notice anything. It'll be a really enjoyable experience. It's just going to be a lot of... A lot of keeping track of stuff for us, because we yeah. plan on playing through all three campaigns at the same time in, in chronological, chronological order. order. We kind of like chronological order, don't we? We do. We really <laughs> do. Yeah, so this game, after you complete it, has a timeline of events mm -hmm. that shows you what characters got to what world in what order and how the story kind of all connected together throughout those worlds throughout those worlds so so we've decided to 
just we're, play it mm -hmm. by that. And we have an amazing heard, map in front of us. Yeah, we've got we've got a map lined out in front of us so that we know what we need to do. And we've heard from other people that this this is definitely possible to do. It's just kind of a bit of a hassle because you have to Constantly save and reload mm -hmm. and switch characters, which <laughs> shouldn't be like again, yet again. It won't show up for you guys. It'll just be on our end. All of that stuff. Yeah, yeah. So and we really want to experience the story. Yes like from start to finish mm -hmm. this way so join us back here next episode as we get into the story proper yep see you then i hope you're looking forward to it here at the end i also want to say thank you to all of our patreons <laughs> patreons all of our patrons uh <laughs> over on patreon uh it's because of your guys' support that we're able to play these amazing games for you and buy new powerful computers to capture all this <laughs> stuff on so that all of your all the content comes out on time and if you, you guys saw get all the awesome stuff over on twitter probably about how long ago now will that have been uh about a week and a half yeah so about, about a week ago we mm -hmm. we bought a new computer and this will be the first let's play we are recording on this new computer so we're really hoping everything goes smooth Thank you guys so much for all your support. And see you on Wednesday. Yep. Bye-bye. <laughs>